It's my cat, so I was looking at my camera and how we gotta let this chair get out of your chair. I'm getting my the proper I like this chair. It's, it's a nice chair. I just finished unscripted of the last page here. And I wanted to read out to you the last page or the last segment, the last chapter of chapter 49, the last chapter of Unscripted, which is chapter 49. And I just wanted to make this video as like a MJ DeMarco appreciation video. I think MJ DeMarco is probably one of the most underrated underground authors that there is out there. Even though with the millions of sales that he's gotten with his book, The Millionaire Fastlane and Unscripted and The Great Irish Escape, I still believe even then that... MD DeMarco is severely underrated and he just doesn't have that presence that I need him to have. Like I would like for him to be popular. I would like for him to have immense amounts of wealth, multi, multi million, hundreds of millions, real wealth. Uh, I mean, a real richness, not wealth, not necessarily wealth, real richness. Because I believe this guy genuinely deserves it for just laying it out just like that for you. No stock market bullshit, like you best 50 years. He criticizes everything, he criticizes all the conventional thinking that we have with school and stock market and jobs. Uh, he clarifies risk there is to jobs. He's like a brutally realistic, intelligent individual. And I really feel it in this chapter. And I just want to make this video saying thank you to MJ DeMarco, man. He's changed my life. Without MJ DeMarco, I wouldn't have started my first business at my young age at 17. Yeah, so I have 17, early 17, I was stuck in my business. I wouldn't have started at early 17, I'm turning 18 now. I have almost a year of experience, entrepreneurship experience within my business. I'm kind of proud to say I made a, quite a okay sum, not too much, not too bad. Enough to live, enough to pay bills, if that, that comes up. Enough to pay for food, if that comes up, if that, if that has come up. I, I recently bought three cans of coca cola for peanuts, but no one talks about that. We don't, we don't talk about that, we don't talk about that. Hey, it was a worthwhile investment, okay? Fuck, these are so good. I swear to God, guys, these are so good. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was sponsored, because if I was sponsored by these guys, imagine being sponsored by these guys. You receive money from them, and you receive, like, free promotional, like, clothing and uh, cans of, oh my, cans of cola peanuts from them. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Fucking hell, the smell, it's like three pounds of cans. It's not, it's not cheap when you add it up. Like, if you're only eating a can a year, you're eating one can a day for a year. That's 365 cans times not a three. Let me do the quick math on that. So five times three is 18. 60 times three is 180. 300 times three is 900. 180 plus 180 plus five times three. Uh, five times three is 15. 180 is 500 and no 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 180. Times my, my brain, I can't manage my thoughts at the moment because I want to talk about the MJ appreciation video, but I'm, I'm trying to practice quick maths. 180 plus 15. What the fuck is that? So it's 195 plus 900 is 1065. Okay, let's do. No, that's not, that seems. 1095. I just said 195, then I said 65. I was 30 off, dude. So that's like 1095 pounds. Of 1,100 pounds roughly. 1,095 pounds for a can a day. Everything that's a grand worth of can. Bro, worth it. Or it's gonna take a bunch of space in my room. Don't care. Worth it. So I wanted to make this video as a. Yes, I have. Uh, feedback, dude. This wind is fucking me up, bro. Shut the hell up, man. Shut the hell up. So yes, I have heard feedback. However, I recently had sent another rendition of. Rendition of the <sighs> 
so this is one of the, the, I'm going to read the final chapter of Unscripted and I'm going to just say my thanks to MJ DeMarco. I didn't mean to procrastinate on you there. And I didn't mean to like fucking put a sponsor for a shit brand of Coca Cola Peanuts there. I didn't mean to do that. Even though Coca Cola Peanuts, I would literally, when I reach millionaire status, I'm probably going to buy like 10 grand worth. What's 10 grand worth? We do the I can do the ratio. This is this is this is math. This is why you learn math in school. So three hundred and sixty-five. We know is one, one can. So can cost. So one can cost three. Three hundred sixty-five cans cost a thousand ninety-five. This is real. This is real shit. B bar B. Uh, so 365, let's say I get 10 grand worth. So 10 grand. Hmm. This is, this is quite interesting math, guys. So if we base off the. What is the multiplication from 1 to 3? What's. My phone. Is it one divided by three? Or is it three divided by one? I don't know, I think they do both. So ten thousand divided by three is three thousand three hundred and thirty three times one roughly. Wait a minute. Let me do the math. Let me do the let me do the other math as well. So what's 1 divided by 3? Okay, times 10,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with 10,000 pounds, you could buy... This is, this is serious shit, guys. When 10,000... Oh, this was the MG Marco appreciation video, but I just procrastinated on it. I was talking about how much cans you can buy. <laughs> cans of coconut coconut peanuts. You can buy 3,333 cans of coconut coconut peanuts with 10,000 pounds. It's worth Worth. I would dedicate an entire area of my house. I would, I would have a fucking massive house, 4,000 square feet. How, how big is 4,000 square feet? I don't know, 4. Square foot. House. 4,000. I know it's 4,000 square foot house. It's fucking massive. Yes, 4,000 4, square foot house. Dream home. Fucking massive. Right here. There's some celebrity. This, yeah, uh huh. That's exactly what I was about. Totally. I imagine something a bit smaller actually. <laughs> Thirty-nine million dollar estate. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus. Jesus. Gee, he looks absolutely gorgeous. I understand, but thirty-five million, thirty-nine million dollars is quite, quite the fucking price. <laughs> uh, I asked for it. Uh, uh. Oh my god, it's actually so, it's, it's so fucking gorgeous. What the hell? Oh my god. That looks so good. Oh my god. Oh, you need a proper staircase. Forty million dollars. Where's the proper staircase? How am I car gonna get up here? Oh my god, dude. Oh, there's a road right here. I'm bugging. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Too bad it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. There's no beach view either. You got the lake, but um, I would prefer a beach view, but damn. Anyways, I would have my 4,000 square foot estate, rich as fuck, and I would have an entire small section, like a garage area, just dedicated to stacking these up. I would bring like five to my office at a time. Five. Eat that shit, guilt free. Good life. Oh my fucking god, bro. Oh my god, I'm so. 
the smell, the taste, the texture, it's perfect. It's all perfect. I've had peanut too, which is the other coconut peanut version. But it, it doesn't hit the same. It has thin, like a more thin crunch. It is still very addictive in flavor and overall, overall taste, but it doesn't have that same, you know, pizzazz. I'm going to read you the, the final uh, chat of Unscripted, which I really like. There's nothing too educational here. I don't think MJ will get mad at me. Chapter 49, hashtag unscripted. I know the price of success, dedication, hard work, and unremitting devotion to the things you want to see happen. Frank Lloyd Wright, architect. Thank you. The many hours you've spent reading this book mean a lot to me, probably more than you know. Because time threads our human experience, neither renewable nor returnable, giving me yours is a heartfelt privilege. I thank you for trusting me with it. I hope you have found unscripted, Life, liberty, and the pursuit of entrepreneurship, a valuable visionary blueprint on how to, for how to reclaim your life and its dreams. An entrepreneurial career is more than a job without a boss. It's a life loved daily, not postponed until Saturday and hibernated Monday through Friday. It means living free from soul-destroying death cult of peer conformity, media-mandated mediocrity, and scripted cultural conditioning. But most of all, <coughs> it means you own you. Your, cho your choice is time and, and your life. It means you own you, your choices, your time, and your life. But most of all, it means... Oh, I'm going read myself. Honor this book as your connective dots, flexible guideposts, not written in the ink of devout absolutism, but written in erasable ink and connected by your own experience of act, assess, and adjust. Ultimately, I cannot connect your dots. I can only spotlight them as landmarks for improving probability. I can only light the chasm in between them, or cautioning. Their crossing will be trying and transformative, incredibly rewarding. Going unscripted starts as a simple seed planted in your mind. It cultivated resolve with resolve and wisdom that you aren't a slave to a car, a television or a government. Bloom that seed into a lifestyle and you will find abundance and happiness as its flower, no matter how you define it. In the end we all share a humanity that cannot be re rewound. Some write the story of that experience, while others write the script while others allow the script to steal the pen. Our primordial pages of time don't care if you acknowledge the universal truth of our civilization. It bleeds unceremoniously, only becoming ceremonious when a terminal, de terminal health diagnosis arrives, or worse, it's gone, leaving nothing but a funeral. Don't be that person. Don't be the person dreaming of a do-over. The time machine is here and it's telling you to change the history of what it may become. Start now, not tomorrow. Not next week or after you get paid, and not after you get that great idea. My friend, this is the first day of the rest of your life. It is precious and it is yours. Do not give the script the deed to your life. Claw it back. Rip it up. And rewire your own unscripted story. Good luck and may God, Jesus, Allah, Yahweh, Buddha and advanced ETs, random coagulating amino acids, the opera new age karma god, whoever has engineered our brief existence on this tiny dot in our universe, bless your journey. Hashtag time machine. Hashtag start today. Hashtag rip up the script. Hashtag unscripted. Hashtag the end. My friends. That's the ending of this book. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, man. What a book. It, like, it opened my eyes a bit. Man. You can see how eloquent he is, though. You know, Americans often have this stereotype in which they're incredibly, in uh, incredibly stupid, and they're incredibly naive, and they're incredibly uh, fumbling, and they're incredibly annoying, etc., etc. But MJ just destroys all semblance of of this stereotype and he just puts words in such an eloquent fashion in which I cannot help but be gobsmacked and awe inspired awe inspired by his journey, awe inspired by his intelligence, awe inspired by his ability to orate himself in a way in which I can be just so enamored in his writing I can never, I can't put this like enough, I can't express this enough, I'm so grateful for MJ DeMarco and if you're watching this MJ DeMarco, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart bro Seriously, it's your book is phenomenal. The story that you've gone through is phenomenal. Your your blood, sweat, and tears. I've seen it. I've understood it. It's oh man. It's great. I really, I re I really like. I really want to be successful now. I really want to put put myself in a position where it's. I live a lifestyle I I deserve. Oh man, it just. I'm I'm kind of stumped. I'm on my ass. Uh, not necessarily because I'm humbled, but because I'm so shocked and inspired by this guy. This, 
He's absolute genius. Straight up genius. He's an absolute genius. Man. And if you want to find his channel, it is MJ DeMarco on YouTube. What are you going to call him? MJ DeMarco? DeMarco? There's YouTube. You guys can search up MJ DeMarco and... Despite the amount of interviews he's done, I don't think he's done enough. He has a picture of him as like his young self, and he's kind of he's old and grey now, which is quite um, which is quite scary. He's got grey hair and everything. Look at him. I don't like the thumbnail. Come on, come on. What the hell is this man? Lazy communist or enlightened? Reddit's anti-work movement. Lazy communist or enlightened workers? He's, or like this is him as a young man. You can see it. It's quite bright. Him, the young man, and him now. Jesus Christ, man. Time flies. He should have kept up with for the next uh, for the ten years. This is MJ DeMarco, and I'd like to officially announce that I am back. Yay! Nearly ten. Ten years, bro, and one year again is like this. Jesus fucking Christ, man! Why haven't you uploaded more, MJ? What the hell, Fox Lane, MJ? He changed his ass, so he he is here. He's just not posting. What the hell, man? Post more, MJ. Post more. 11 months ago, are you serious MJ? This is not good. They are go these are gold gems in my opinion. These are like really good videos. However, the problem is with these videos is that it's it's just, he doesn't post enough. Like, there's so much you could talk about in finance, so much you could do, like, podcast you could do, so much, so much you could do with YouTube. There's infinite possibilities. And it's just not posting enough and it's just, ah, oh, it's just pissing my, it's hurting my soul. Because this guy is so in smart. It's so likable. It's so. <sighs> Maybe he doesn't like the scrutiny that comes with the internet, but it it comes with the territory, especially with the internet. It's just part of the game. I'm sure he knows that because he mentioned that in his book, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know what goes through his mind. Fucking intelligence, smart as fuck. Ah, oh, it's tough, man. Ah, oh, his books are so good. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you, Andrew Demarco, for everything you've done. So far, I really appreciate it. Thank you for the book. I, I really enjoy the book. I'm gonna continue going on my business journey. I'm gonna relate, uh, refer to your book when I need to refer to it. I haven't made enough money to invest, but when the when the time comes up, I'll listen to your advice on that. Oh, Absolute genius. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. How long is the video? Seven.